Hey guys, it's Whisper Crystal here. Today I decided to make another Elder Scrolls for Oblivion game video because, as uh, most of you gamers know, Skyrim is coming out very soon. So I thought it would be nice to do another video. You should not be here, mortal. Your blood is for fight, and your flesh is mine. As always, I will be reading the subtitles and uh, talking a little bit about the game itself. There will be some spoilers. Quickly, quickly, you must get to the top of the large tower, the sigil cube they call it. That's where the key is. Find a sigil stone and remove it. The gate will close. Hurry! The keeper has the key. He talks too fast for me. <laughs> oh, the key was on the guard, so... I don't know if you noticed, but... I picked up from where I left before. I was playing this game for you guys, and I had made a redhead elf character, and so what I'm going to do is carry on from where I left. I was in Oblivion, so as you can see from my surroundings as well, this is uh, Oblivion. For those of you not familiar with the game, The Elder Scrolls IV. Oblivion game uh, was first released in 2006. It's a game where I would call a single player role playing game, and the main story is basically about you trying to stop a cult that basically plans to open the gate to a realm called Oblivion, which is the realm we're in right now. Uh, what is this? I should tell something about these. Okay, so, um, I've done it. I received a sigil stone, and now I should be able to go out. Today I'm going to concentrate on an official expansion pack for Oblivion and that requires me to go to Anvil Town let me kill this um, little stunt scamp <laughs> they are all firing at me how dare they Yes, I am. Um, tend to play as the mage, and this one I'm going to just use my powers of magic to kill those little ones. And uh, as I was saying, carry on to the real quest I am hoping to do, and I'm inspired to do this. Is because of the new and much anticipated game, Skyrim. I'm so looking forward to that. I'm hoping to beat the game again before that comes out, though the chances of that happening with many other great games. Ah. Uh, it's pretty slim now, because I'm just... I don't know what to play first. <laughs> anyway, so for the purposes of this expansion called Knights of the Night, I shall pretend to be a knight, or try to be one. Stop right there, criminal. Nobody breaks the rules. Oh, gosh. I didn't even know that I broke the rule. I must have done something 
last time I played this, might that be the time that I was punching King's guards? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, here's the procedure. You come with me, go to the tower, I strip you of your cash. Gold. And who is that? Oh my goodness. This is the guy we talked to. Oh yeah, the key guy. <laughs> Get to Sigil Keep. Find the Sigil Stone. Don't worry about me, there's no time. Oh my god. He's bugged. Oh, seriously. This is a bug, isn't it? We've done that. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, this is a bug. This dude was in the tower, and we destroyed the tower in uh, Oblivion, yet here he is, repeating the same thing. Ghost from the past. Huh, interesting. I've just started and already broke the game. T. Okay, well. So what I'm going to do is try to figure out where to get this quest from. Pretty sure I was going to talk to... Let's talk to the Countess of Milana Ambranox. I am Milana Ambranox, Countess of Amil. I hope you enjoy your visit. I trust you will give us no cause to regret our hospitality. I hope so, dear lady. I mean you no harm. I simply desire to become another knight of the nine. It's unbelievable. Right in the center of the city, nobody saw anything. Yes, I got the quest. It's called Pilgrimage, and it will eventually lead to me becoming one of the knights of the nine. I think I'm going to to find a prophet and that is going to tell me what to do next. So let's go out and have a look. <laughs> oh dear. So there's um, Knights of the Nine. Expansion changes none of the basic gameplay of Oblivion. Um, but um, it's just another storyline for you to play. And one thing about Oblivion that you can basically be good alignment or bad alignment. So if I do this quest and become a holy knight, I can still do the Dark Brotherhood quest. Which basically means you're a cold-blooded murderer and um, still from an holy knight to a murderer. So let's see what he has to say. He is talking, but um, you can't hear it obviously. So another one who has come to listen to the madman's rantings. Okay, this is only the beginning. Amiral has returned, as foretold by Belinal White Drake in his dying breath. Okay, just tell me who attacked the chapel. Do you want to stand for nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient ruins if you cannot. Tell me, please. Asui bala umarile ehlana darajuvar. In the island talk, by the eternal power of Omaril, the mortal gods shall be cast down. Interesting. So this is my quest. Correspond to Meryl's ancient foes and a threat. So how do we stop? Alas, Omaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods and not without the crusaders' relic. Without a champion, gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine crusader's weaponry? <laughs> I have an idea. I think I will quest for the relics. 
you would quest for the holy panoply of Pendlena White Drake, the legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages. Are you a worthy knight? Yes, I am a worthy knight, of course. Then I am sure you will have no trouble finding the relics on your own. You clearly need no aid from man or God. Why do you come to me for aid, worthy knight? <laughs> he wants me to be modest, I see. So, let's play along. No, I have no claim. Oh, look, he's happy, smiling. Humble heart is a good starting point. The gods will decide if you are worthy. Okay. The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act? What I can tell you is that traditionally knights who wish to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way, travel to the way shrines of the nine divines, pray to each of the gods in turn, and ask for their favor upon your quest. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth. With the nine's blessings. Now we're talking. This is the kind of quest I like. But I have a feeling the first part is gonna be kind of boring because I'm supposed to find the shrines and pray for the gods there. And in order to find these shrines, they won't be marked on my map as a normal quest because the prophet gave me a map and uh, I will have to look on that rather than try to figure out where I'm going it's impossible otherwise these are just small structures you can see this hammerfell and an imperial city I was a gladiator <laughs> and we have Leoween. What else? Yeah, I wish I could just open that as a proper map, but uh, it seems that I cannot do that. So let's go back to our uh, inventory and see if we can find the map on there. Oceans, my books, here we go. So you can clearly see all the shrines marked. Arkai. If you wish to repent for your sins and rededicate your life to the gods, pray at the way shrines of the nines. May the nine hear your prayers and look upon you with tender, loving kindness. <laughs> okay, so for that reason, I am going to go and find all of these, starting from Archive, because it's the closest, and then probably go to Standar. Finally, to end the quest. Well, in a way, I will be starting it, because uh, I need the gods. Give me the go ahead. <laughs> so, um, I'm guessing I need to go north, like northwest from here. Okay, we shall do that. I'm just gonna memorize uh, all of the yeah, Argai, Mara, Tibet. Julianos, Sinitar, Standar, Kinaret. <laughs> I like the names. Okay, let's um, get ourselves a horse now. I so hope that I have enough money for. 
for a horse cause um do you like my hair by the way <laughs> yeah cause um here is the irony if I don't I still don't want to run all the way to every single point so I do need a horse and there is a more than one way to get a horse even if you don't have gold in this game and that by simply jumping on it and uh, riding away. Uh. So, um, let's see if this guy is the one. Mike knows much. There's, um, Mike knows many things others do not. I do not wish to fight on horseback. It is a good way into Ruin a perfectly good horse. I imagine this is how a cat person would speak and not. <laughs> he is not our um, trader, so let's see if I can find a horse whisper. Ah, a whisper. Nice. Even in this world, you see, guys, even in Oblivion, you will come across some whispers. <laughs> We're really everywhere nowadays. But, um, 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 it's bad news. I do not have enough uh, money. I cannot show you the money, honey. So I'm gonna do... What a holy knight shouldn't do, really. But as I said in this game, it does not matter. So I'm gonna go for it. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. What should I call my horse? <laughs> oh my god. They're following me. I just need. If I just go a bit, I think it was northwest, wasn't it? So what is that? Oh, okay, that is a nut. The guards, um, I'm good. Let's carry on. I'm in another horse table. Good thing they don't... Oh, this is just a traveler. Oh no, I'm just on the wrong way. But anyway. I'm going to have to look at my map again. Arkai. How do I get there? I'm gonna have to go north. From northeast. Okay. <laughs> like how bright my hair is. <laughs> Could spot me from a mile away. It's not too good if um, you're stealing horses though. <laughs> yeah. I should maybe do a shortcut. Yeah. Can you climb or see? The white horses are supposed to be good. I think the black horses are the fastest and most expensive in this game. And white horses are sturdy, I think. I'm not sure. So they're reliable. But what's funny is um, if you steal a horse, they're not they're not very loyal to you. When you um, get off your horse after you stolen it and they can't find it. You can't find it. So I'm going to um, wing it at this point. Let's uh, look around. The world is beautiful. <laughs> it's an open world so I love that you can just go anywhere you like and 
pick up any quests on the way. You don't have to follow the main storyline at all. Like when I initially played Oblivion, I didn't do the actual storyline main plot for the longest of times. I did a lot of uh, side stories, and some of them were really, really good. There was one, uh, one about vampires. Again, spoilers. <laughs> but, um... I liked the story, but I didn't like that you could choose to become a vampire, but if you did that, they changed your face and you no longer had the face. Um, now you chose it just ages your face a lot and your character looks very different. And um, the thing is, you actually can cure yourself. Kill this wolfie here. I'm sorry, wolfie. See what I mean? My horse was running away. Bad horsey. Bad horsey. Let's have a look at our map again. Oh, goodness me, I'm bad with directions. Or <laughs> Where is my Tom Tom? I need it. <laughs> GPS, as you, um, some of you call it, I guess. GPS on a horse. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure I must be very near by now. So, I'm just gonna ride. And the dawn is near. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. There it is. Is that it? Um, I have a feeling this is not it. But I'm going to have a try. I'm gonna park my horse as close as possible. Because it's going to start to run away. Okay, yeah, this is just a well draw power from. I did nothing. Let's go back. <sighs> I'm blind. I am looking at Quatch up there. So clearly you can see the towns. And um, so I say you can just choose to walk up to it if you want. <gasps> my horse. Oh my goodness. Come back. Okay. Alright. Um, let's do this thing now, okay? Now I keep looking, but it seems that is the only way, because uh, it's easy to get lost in a forest, isn't it? This is what's happening. And, um, may I remind you, this is the first one, and I have eight more after this. If I carry on doing it, it's going to be a very long day indeed. <laughs> so, um, let's follow the road here. You can pick up these herbs, actually, but I'm not going to worry about choose to be an alchemist, you can make uh, potions and things with those uh, herbs. So, um, I, I'm not going to be really, I'm just going to be a humble knight. <laughs> and uh, perhaps later I'll be a dark mage. <laughs> so for now, let's uh, find this shrine. They did hide it well, didn't they? Gods must not have many visitors, or maybe they don't like visitors. Here we go. Finally. Reminds me of the Greek ruins. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, 
use it now and see what happens. Honor your body and spirit, pray at my chapel elders to receive my blessings. Done. Am I gonna see anything spectacular? I have prayed at the Way Shrine of Archive. Nope. Okay, well, <laughs> that was that. My horse. My horse is gone. <laughs> okay. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? So, thank you for watching, guys. But I'm gonna end it here while I try to find my horse. I hope you enjoyed it. And I might do another one if you want. Let me know. If not, I have other games that I could play too. But yeah. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye bye.